in the van! Get in the Van is a collection of journal entries and photographs from the time I was in Black Flag from 1981 to 1986. So it's a pretty all-encompassing book of every fact I could glean in and the journals. I thought Black Flag was a van you could really look at. And the book has a lot of photographs. So I, I would just see a photo, ah, I, you know, date it or do some kind of uh, documentation, throw it in an envelope and put it in a box. When I went to start putting this book together, I went, okay, let's see how well I kept my, uh, my information and my, uh, my documentation together. And I started opening up these envelopes and everything was like really well kept. So here's like the first journal entry. Ego Trip Department. This is my book. I bought it. May 13th, 1983. I'm always happy to rediscover my book. It's my time, my thoughts, my ego trip. And it doesn't have to bother anyone. That's cool. I still have to cover my tracks for the chances of this volume falling into enemy hands are very great. We're gonna have a TV party tonight. I'm releasing an audio version of Get In The Van on Time Warner Audio. In the next five years, I was to learn what hard work was all about. Black Flag and SST was on a work ethic that I had never before experienced and have never seen since. Spoken word performances, the spoken word releases, audio books will hopefully get young people to realize the power of words. Today's Monday. The last show is Friday in Detroit. We played Detroit last Saturday also. During the show, I watched some skinheads try and waste a long-haired guy. I told them to stop or we'd stop playing. They cut it out. Attention all units, we have a major disturbance, 5612 Sunset Boulevard. Can't stay on that. Hey, Frank, is this that black flag group again? Yeah! yeah. Okay, that was Black Flag you just saw, and now it's time for the interview. Why don't you start off and uh, introduce yourselves down at the left, right? I'm Greg Ginn. I'm Bill Stevenson. I'm Henry Rollins. And my name's Chuck Dukowski. Guys, guys, try the troll. Rock the boat, we're gonna rock the boat. A Black Flag set was like a 60 to 90 minute explosion. It was like a, a train wreck that just kept wrecking. Black Flag was like a lot of independent bands then and now. They live in a van, you know, the bodies and the equipment all live in the van. The van takes on this great uh, identity, like, you know, that's, that's mommy, you know, like the van, because you're in it so much. We were the satellites of the van, and we had to like go without meals to make sure the van had enough gas, because if the van wasn't happy, we weren't going anywhere. The van is life. Time. There's books I own that are as powerful as any record I own. I mean, Dosta, you know, Jimi Hendrix had nothing on Dostoevsky. Coltrane had nothing on Selby. You know what I mean? I mean, they're all heavyweights, and books can, like, knock you out just as hard as Led Zeppelin or Jane's Addiction. I mean, they're just, you know. And I think it would be really great if... Uh, if those who did not know that could make this wonderful discovery. Here's why I did the Black Flag book. Picture a man going into a van. Get in the van. Work it. Go. 